Hello and welcome to science video two. This is going to cover some examples of instincts and learned behaviors. We're going to review the definitions, remind ourselves of the examples we just heard, and then do some sorting together. All right, before we get to our sorts, let's review those definitions of instincts and learned behaviors. So instincts in our last video we learned are natural behaviors that animals have when they're born. Living things are born knowing how to do these things. Remember, they're hardwired into your brain, part of your DNA. No one has to teach you how to do them. Right here it says, no teaching required. Lots of examples in the last video about instincts. Some of those were spiders spinning webs, animals and humans learning how to walk, turtles being able to crawl right into the sea right after they've hatched, bears hibernating, and geese migrating. All of those things happen without anybody teaching these animals to do those things. On the flip side, we have learned behaviors where teaching or lessons are required. Learned behaviors are survival skills learned by watching the adults of the same species or by individual experiences and experimentation. Thinking about those individual experiences, my example of a learned behavior was when I burned my fingers as a kid because I touched something coming out of the oven. Because of that experience, I learned not to touch hot things. But learned behaviors are in animals everywhere. We talked about bears having to be taught how to catch fish in the river by their older members of their group. Insects choosing tasty flowers, lions learning how to stalk their prey, and even dogs learning new tricks when their owners teach them. So again, these were just definitions that we learned about in the last video to better understand the difference between instincts, where no teaching is required, and learned behaviors where teaching or lessons are required. So let's go ahead and jump to a sort together. All right, so here it says, which of the following are instincts and which are learned behaviors? So we've got four examples here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and read those together. An octopus figuring out how to swim through a maze, a baby kangaroo crawling into its mother's pouch, caterpillars knowing when to spin a cocoon, and birds building a nest for its eggs. So we're gonna decide where these examples go, either under instincts or learned behaviors. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a think aloud for you. So an octopus figuring out how to swim through a maze. Well, I don't think that there are many mazes in the ocean. So if an octopus is figuring out how to get through a maze, they're probably using some trial and error so they can learn the best way to get through that maze. So I'm gonna say that an octopus figuring out how to swim through a maze is a learned behavior. Let's go to the next one. A baby kangaroo crawling into its mother's pouch. That sounds like something that that kangaroo probably would know how to do as soon as it was born because that is something that happens right after that baby kangaroo was born. So I am going to say that that is an instinct. Caterpillars knowing when to spin a cocoon. Again, that is part of a natural process. So I'm gonna say that that is an instinct. Birds building a nest for its egg. Birds do not have to be taught how to build a nest. When they're building that nest, that is a part of their species. Their species knows how to do that without having to be taught. Now they might have to learn where a good place is to put that nest, but the actual building of that nest is an instinct. Let's see if my answers were correct. All right, looks like I got them right. Let's look at another set of examples. All right, we have four new ones here at the bottom. Chimpanzees using a stick to get termites out of a hole. Snakes basking in the sun for warmth. Butterflies going from North America to Mexico in autumn. An otter cracking open a clam by hitting it on a rock. All right, so I'm gonna model two and then I'll let you guys help me out with the last two. So chimpanzees using a stick to get termites out of a hole. Well, if I'm thinking about a chimpanzee, 
and how they hunt and get their food, do you think it's using a stick would come supernaturally to them? Like a baby chimpanzee, would they be able to use a stick right away? I don't think they'd be able to. I think it would take the adults of their group to teach them how to use that stick to get down into that termite hole. So I think that this is an example of a learned behavior. Snakes basking in the sun for warmth. All right, well, this seems like a behavior that most snakes would be able to do without any support. I think this comes really naturally to them. So I'm gonna say that that is an instinct. All right, for these last two examples, I'd like you to pause the video in just a second and talk to someone you're viewing the video with or think to yourself about what you think these last two examples are. Where should butterflies going from North America to Mexico in autumn go? And where should an otter cracking open a clam by hitting it on a rock go? All right, go ahead and pause the video now. All right, are you ready to see how you did? All right, so if you put butterflies going from North America to Mexico in autumn under instincts, you are exactly right. This is an example of migration, and those butterflies know how to do that without any guidance from anybody else. It is built in, it is hardwired in their brain, in their DNA, and they do this without anybody teaching them how. Over here, we have our otter example. That is a learned behavior. That otter is using a tool. They have to try and figure out how to open that clam in lots of different ways and eventually realize that hitting it on a rock would be the best way to get that clam open. All right, are you ready for our last set of examples? All right, here are your final four. I'm gonna read you these four examples and then I'm gonna have you pause the video again and decide where you think these examples should go. Your first example is a dolphin swimming right after it's born a raccoon opening a trash can to get some new food, crocodiles returning to the same spot in a watering hole to catch wildebeest, humans using their lungs to breathe. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and have you pause the video and decide where you think these examples should go. Go ahead and pause. All right, hopefully you've discussed this with someone you're watching the video with, or thought about it out loud to yourself. Let's see how you did. All right, so if you all put dolphins swimming right after they're born and humans using their lungs to breathe as your examples of instincts, you are spot on. Both of these are behaviors that no one has to teach. That dolphin starting to swim right after they're born happens automatically. Humans using their lungs to breathe right after they're born happens automatically. It is built into their brain, built into their genetics, and they do it without anybody teaching them how to do so. Over on the other side, if you put your raccoon opening a trash can, and crocodiles going back to the same spot where they've caught wildebeest before, under learned behaviors, then you're exactly right there too. Raccoons didn't know how to open a trash can at first. They had to look to the adults in their group to teach them how to do that so that they could get some food. Crocodiles going back to the same spot in a watering hole year after year after year is a learned behavior because those crocodiles have figured out that that is an excellent spot to catch their prey when they need it. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this activity of sorting some new examples of instincts and learned behaviors. Feel free to come back and revisit to practice these examples again if you need to and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.